Okay. We Eating presents the Free 99 Podcast. Be sure to follow us on SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, our radio, Spotify, Spotify and Twitch. Search FREE99 Podcast. Shout out to all the sponsors. Shout out to all the listeners. Uh, Mono in the building. All right. Uh, ben Boogie Brown Bottles in the building. Toast to my dude. Yeah. Cheers, 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 what's cheers. Good? Mono, episode 125, Free 99 Podcast. Ooh. Hey. Yeah, what's Shout good? out to Philly Phil. Yo, what's up, Phil? Mm. We're celebrating today, right? Oh, we're celebrating today, yeah. Perfect. I don't want to give a location, but yeah. yeah. We're, cel- <laughs> we're celebrating. We're, we're having a good time. I'm very fortunate. Um, I just wanted to, to loosen this up real quick. I, I had some quick hitters for Ben. Oh, man. Ken, well, you got it on paper, too. I do. I do. <laughs> I, never, I never have shit written down. You got a printer? I, had, I do have a printer. With ink? I, I had to. I had to sign a lot of paperwork recently. <laughs> <laughs> it was just way easier to print shit out to read Isn't it. that what? Everybody got a printer, but nobody got it. Yeah. Ink. But see, I can print it from my phone. That's the only reason why... Yeah. It's again. Well, Ben looks stumped right there. Technology. <laughs> Technology. No, 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 no. I know. I'm okay. not that old. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick one word or just yes or no. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, Damn, just, we just going at it right off the yeah, bat. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, okay. Let, let's just wet our whistle real quick. Uh, <laughs> does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes I'm gonna no. say no, but no. I mean each 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 to yeah, teach no. You that's no. not gonna be in the first five pizzas you order as far as different flavors. Not a pineapple on the pizza. Not me, no. Yeah, me neither. Fuck that. <laughs> Sorry. Damn. What goes in a bowl first? Milk or cereal? I do cereal. Same Z's. <laughs> Reese's cups or Snickers? Um peanut butter cups. Ooh. <laughs> Little Luca or Roxy's. Oh man! Don't don't do what the cool do, do what you like, Ben. I uh, do what you like, Ben. Shit, do what you like. Roxy's because of nostalgia. Oh. But honestly, Lucas a better sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lucas a better Luke sandwich. Lucas is a yes. better sandwich. I agree. Sorry. Although, although I will say I haven't I haven't been going to Little Lucas in a, in a minute though. Roxy's is home for me, right? Yeah, 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 yeah no, exactly. That, that's what that is. It's like eating a sandwich. You know, that's that's what Roxy's is to me. So Roxy's is number one in my heart, but then number one on my taste buds. Yeah. It, had to, <laughs> it had to be Little Luca. That garlic spread and that uh, jalapeno yeah, spread. Yeah, yeah, That is the deciding factor. But uh, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Totally different taste. And I feel like a lot of other sandwich places, like they really just copied that. Mm. Daily City Market, the new Daily City Market is doing all right. Their, their sandwiches oh, are yeah. You know oh, I mean? hell yeah. Right? That's the old uh, Templeton um, uh, uh, liquor store. The one on, um, is it Hanover? To, on, or? Uh, yeah, it's, it's on Hanover, the corner of Hanover and Temp. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, they have um, actually, so um, they also do like food food also i think like ribs like, right yeah, yeah 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 like like i've gotten like i remember last time um damn i tried their steak sandwich there i don't know if it was like a ribeye or something like that and then um there was an option just to get like the straight up steak when i ordered a roast beef he was like uh you want the house roast beef and i was like uh let me get let me get the boar's head <laughs> let's just keep it boar's head for now because you know like the home ones would be kind of dry sometimes oh i feel you yeah i feel you yeah, yeah but they also do um like the uh like the uh like the cutty bangs they do there. and um i like those bag drinks yeah yeah, yeah, I'll do yeah, like, yeah. I, I like that concept that concept ca- caught on fast oh dude yeah so so i got like two of those spots like right behind my house um you really, quick pick and blue star, hillside right? yeah yeah man blue star um, oh t- shit, we got more questions. I got more. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ticino or Longanisa? Longanisa. Mm-hmm. That was quick too. Sketchers or XJ nine hundred? What? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you got if you got to rock one. And oh, only people of a certain shit. age demo will know what XJ nine hundreds oh, are. And you were going out I, that night. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are, and you're, you single, and you're <laughs> single. And you're single. <laughs> you're going out, and you're single. And you're, oh god. And, and your crush is there. Okay, I would say XJ 900s because they actually had shoes that looked like Jordans. I they remember did, they had yeah. some, they had like some that looked like fours, uh, Jordan oh. four. To- but I mean, totally not it. But I mean, oh. you can tell where the inspiration came from. 
The I sketches. had a pair of Jordash that were it was like Jordash. <laughs> Jordash, like the jeans. I had a pair of fake bo- bootleg Jordans that were called Jordash. No, Jordash. Jordash. <laughs> yes. But I feel like with Skechers, like today, everybody would know what Skechers are. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. shit. The but S. if they look like X- XJ 900s, I mean, like, yo, this is like some um, like some high-end shit. It's like bootleg New Balance, yeah. right? <laughs> the, the, that's what XJ 900s. The Patrick Ewing's? <laughs> the Patrick <laughs> The, uh, the Manu Bowls, the Spaldings. Those <laughs> <laughs> Reeboks? Uh, okay. Uh, Transformers or G.I. Joe's? Transformers. Easy. That was quick. Man. Baron Davis or Draymond Green? Oh. Two different kind of yeah, players, I but... Uh... Baron kind of sparked it for us, but... He Dr- did. He Dr- did. But... Dre's keeping it moving, though. I know. Well, uh, let's let's do, uh, let's do uh, Baron Davis because it's like that... Um, uh, was it uh, Draymond can fly because De- Baron could uh, Baron walk so Draymond can fly? <laughs> no Baron, no Draymond without Baron. There you go. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. Uh, Shumai or Hagao? Hagao. Ooh, I'm a shrimp boy. Uh, Shake Shack or Super Duper? Super Duper. Ooh, that's, that, real, that's just me. That's real Frisco. Okay, what? Super Duper or uh, Super Duper or In and Out? In and Out. Mm. I, well, the, the the reason is because um, In and Out has always been consistent, and it's like easy on the wallet. Like you can get yeah. two burgers and fries for mm-hmm. less than ten bucks. Fun fact: um, I I got my my second bike in, of twenty twenty one to Ben, and he, what he asked in trade <laughs> was for four four double doubles and fries. <laughs> so he, I, I was able to get a bike. For four double doubles, two fries. I, I think where that started from was when I was I used to sell like just random shit like around my house because I'm I'm a little bit of a pack rat. Uh. But I never really wanted like never. I mean, money's nice, but then you know at the moment like yo, just bring me a sandwich or bring me a burrito. Or trade for me, trade, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring me a, a case of coke or something like that. He was like two. He was like he was like someone give me either two steak burritos. Or four, four, <laughs> four, uh, uh, four double doubles from In and Out, and I was like, "I got you, Ben. I will be there. I will be there." Oh, what you call? It? Oh, but speaking of which, man, we gotta go for a bike ride. I actually recently bought a new bike, maybe Dang, like a month ago. New bike? No, 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 new old bike, new old, new old bike. bike, new old bike. You didn't find it on the bus, like our like our friends around here <laughs> <laughs> finding bikes on the bus. Do you ride it or? Yeah, you do, man. Yeah. You must got strong ass legs, yeah. man. I bought a, I had a fixed gear for 29 days and I returned it on the 30th. I bought it from like uh, that bike store that was on Brennan. You know that had his own parking lot. It's right off of oh, the freeway. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I bought a I bought, I bought a fixed gear. Damn. And, yeah, I did, and I I, I, I did uh, Lake Merced, and I was like, never fucking again, bro. I feel sorry for that. Never <laughs> fucking again. I, feel sorry I for that shook seat. the whole time, and I had oh I I, I had the handbrakes. But yeah. that shit sucks. Oh, I feel oh, sorry man. for those brakes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, they work though. Twenty nine days <laughs> in, the, the pad was worn out. Yeah. By yeah. Yeah. But was... even like something flat, like um, when they had Great Highway closed, it's still closed. Oh, it's still closed. Weekend. Weekends is closed. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, I okay, weekends. okay. Yeah. What you call it? Um, even with like Great Highway, it's there's not any like serious hills. But sometimes if you don't have, if you don't mess with the uh, gears, like sometimes it's a workout too. The reason why I got your bike because you had gears. I was I was on a BMX. I was like, you I'll, got a BMX. I was on a twenty nine a twenty nine inch was BMX. It like, was it like a, a retro or, or like it a was, new one? Or? No, I, it was a uh, what is the brand called? Um, it, it was a staple collabo. Uh huh. Mm. It was it was like pink and like black and white. It was like oh, super, it's like a new new. Yeah, brand. yeah. It was like oh shit. I forget what brand. It's state. It's state. A uh, state bicycle. Okay. Yeah. So it was a state and like staple collab bike, whatever. Gave it to my, uh, sold it to my nephew because he's young and trendy and he can deal with the single gear. I needed something with gears. So Ben heard me and I got him four double doubles. But yeah. Man, yeah, we got to go riding, man. I, I would do that. This was my usual thing, uh, especially during the pandemic, is I try to get my workout in and I would ride bikes to go to places to eat at. So, like, I'd start out at the zoo. And then we would run through. Um, oh, open it actually. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, <laughs> we'd start at the zoo, go straight through uh, Great Highway, then take a right right into um, Golden Gate Park, and then we wind up like around uh, Ninth and Irving, and just like grab food around there. So, uh, just just that Great Highway Park, that's six miles, right? Like round trip. Is, um, that, is that six or three? It's three. Uh, it's it's three to the end, and then oh, okay. back around is six, right? 
I, I think so. I, you think I it's three the whole way? I uh, thought it was three the whole way. Yeah, I've been telling people I'm doing six. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, be gassing myself like, yeah, I did six today. I did, I did six every other day, guys. I'm only doing three. Yeah, six kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing six feet. <laughs> Have you ever tried, like, um, you know, at the end of Gray Highway when they had that hill to go up to uh, Land's End? Hell no. Bro. Hell no. I don't go past the gray like as soon as like that that the freeway breaks and then it's no longer open. I'm like I'm gonna turn my big ass right back <laughs> around and just head this way because I could be on the street and I won't bump into nothing. <laughs> you know, if I fall down, I'm not gonna be in the way of any cars. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah. I I almost died twice trying to do that. But yeah, you you, you and your wife would do that. That y'all would go find like 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 a like a sandwich shop or yeah, like that's um, dope. The usual was um, like I said through Golden Gate Park, wind up on Ninth or uh, bike to Irving because there was hella restaurants down there. Irving is what's your go to dim sum in that area? Ooh, um, you know they got a TC pastry there. Uh, TC's uh, TC's the <laughs> gym though, right? Yeah, it's, I like TC. I like TC. Um, they have Chow a, no sprouts. No, <laughs> <laughs> always no sprouts. No I like sprouts, sprouts though. They, they got a pile of sprouts in the corner. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> like, all these no sprouts. No, <laughs> always no sprouts. This guy. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, T, t- I, I fuck with TC. I do. I do too. I do too. What you call it? Um, and then they got the one uh, up here. Uh, yeah. Uh, St. Francis. I remember one time. Uh, I remember one time. Uh, I was in line there, right? And then the guy ahead of me was short by two bucks, and I, g- I gave him two bucks. I was yeah. like, oh, I got you. Oh, man. What I got saint. you. Solid, you. right? Solid. And then when I ordered, I was I was two bucks short. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I, I, I was Did you turn I, around and show. My, my boy Andy was there, and I was like, hey, let me get a five. I was like, let me get a five. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was ordering like for the house. So it was like two dozen of these, two dozen of these. But I, I tried to be the cool. I was like, no, nah, it's cool. Keep the change. I go, put it in the tip jar. Yeah. Then motherfucker, I'm short. I'm like, oh, cash only. I'm like, come on, Andy, let's go over to Valero's. I'll get you back in bread. <laughs> You want some ube bread, the pineapple bread? Oh man, hilarious! Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. I had, I had a couple more. Oh, oh man, we got more. Just to polish it off. Just to polish it off. Filet uh, of fish or, or uh, chicken nuggets? I I do chicken nuggets. I, I rarely get the uh, fish. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, my bad. Sorry about no, that. No, you're good. Hulk Hogan <laughs> or Ultimate Warrior? Oh. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's funny you bring this up. But uh, actually, I can't tell. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Here, you know what? Uh, Hulk Hogan is an icon. So is Ultimate Warrior. But man, mm. I feel like Ultimate Warrior would just crack me up. Like seeing him in hindsight now, like old videos, Ultimate Warrior, and just the the his interviews and the monologues. I say Ultimate Warrior at this moment. There is a video out there called "The Self Destruction of the Ultimate Warrior." If you, uh, it, it was it was produced by WWE, so it kind of sh- like this is when he was alive, so it kind of showed you what of like like a shit bag he was, mm-hmm. like to the business. Like he was the one that told Vince "fuck you," you know what I mean? Like he tried to, he was the first one to tell Vince "fuck you" and not just run with like the program. But it's like like his monologues. I'll get in the cockpit, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Open the door, <laughs> crash the plane of the little Hulkamaniacs. I was like, whoa, this yeah. dude is intense. <laughs> Dude's intense. Um, City Nights or Snowdrift? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say City Nights <gasps> because because okay. because that was like my more nostalgia because that was really one of my first like big club experiences. Uh-huh. Was your and you being a DJ, was it your goal to be like, I'm a DJ? At fucking city nights, <laughs> but, you know, every every everyone that parties there is like, I want to throw a party at city nights. Look at all these bitches here, yeah, man. Like, um, so we used to go to the Wednesdays. It was uh, platinum, platinum, <laughs> man. So so one of the DJs was oh. actually this guy I went to college with, and actually the guys who threw it were from the East Bay, actually. So. And, and I was kind of in awe. I was like, yo, man, this dude DJs at like the hottest party every Wednesday. Because <laughs> that was the only 18 up club in Frisco, right? That? In the Bay Area. That, that, that played hip hop. No, not in the Bay. You go to Limelight. Well, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, I don't know if I was on Limelight. <laughs> you go to the East. You, you, go to, you go to San Jose to get some 18 up club. 
They, I, I, damn, was that all ages or 18 and up? I'm trying to think now. All ages party is <laughs> super sketch. Man, because they had all ages spot in uh, Daily City before. Like, what? Where, yeah, where oh, the, um, um, where the Outback or... Outback. Oh, uh, what is that? Jam Zone. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, 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 oh, shit. The Jam that. Zone. I'm too young for that. Oh, oh yeah. No, I, I remember driving by. I, I was old enough to drive by. Like, what's this, mom? We're, we're just going to the movies. Remember how there was like a little movie theater that was... In oh God! In Serum, the Delhi City. I vaguely remember now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I seen Clockers there. I think Clockers was with. <laughs> was, what was that dude's name? The uh, Omar Epps. <laughs> it was an Omar Epps movie. Yeah, I mean, straight to DVD oh, after man. that. VHS, VHS actually. <laughs> oh, oh, here, here, let me pause this off. Uh, South Pole or Fubu? Oh, no. whoa, whoa, damn. <laughs> South Pole never left, but Fubu Fubu had a run. Yeah, they if did. anyone had a run, and I feel like Fubu actually had like a message or meaning behind it. I'll just I'll go with Fubu, but no, I, I, I or us by us. Yeah, there you go. They actually had a uh, a collab with Jack Hamilton with like the the, the I think it's Jack Hamilton, but it's like the the NBA sports. Thing. So they had a bunch of velour like warrior fits, <laughs> a bunch of velour like New York Knicks fits and shit. And this 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 one I think is the one that, that matters for us in this area, El Farlito or Guadalajara. Oh, hmm. honestly, um, if you asked me ten years ago, El Farlito, now Guadalajara. Now Guadalajara. I hear that now. I hear that a lot now. Now, now Guadalajara. I hear that a lot. Now Guadalajara. Like, what like, is it? I I I don't know. I Ooh. I've gone to like Farlitos like even during um, pandemic times, mm. and it was I mean it was good, but. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. Is it lacking like like some that you know? What I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Either Guadalajara just got better or El Farlito got worse. I think was, one of the chefs left El Farlito good to go to Guadalajara because there was that fire. I always talk, talk about the fire because that's that was the intro to me to Guadalajara because when mm -hmm. El Farlito caught on fire, this mm -hmm. was like the '90s, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then everyone just went there and it was closed. They're like, "Fuck, let's go across the street," mm -hmm. and everyone started going across the street. Yeah, yeah, and and then. I, I say when they were closed, I think I think one of the one of the chefs cut out and went to, uh, Guadalajara. Went to Guadalajara. And so it, if, it, if you guys were blindfolded and you had super steak from each one, would you be able to tell the difference? I think I, think I, I would. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I can. What, was, what was separated? Do you think? I, I know what was separated. <sighs> My wife gets always gets indigestion whenever she gets the 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 meat at a. Uh, at a, a Farlito. What? Really? Guadalajara's, that's why it's been our go-to, because I was like, I'm not going to go get You know what? Actually, I think, I think with Guadalajara, um, I like it a little better, because the especially with the steak, it's um, cooked with a little bit more on the grill, and you it's oh. like a little bit crispier. Because oh. the El Farlito one, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, it is on the grill, but mm. it's not as, it doesn't get like those little burnt, um, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, mm. like the tapa almost. Yeah. Got, like, <laughs> Chris, yeah, 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 a little crisp. You guys notice Guadalajara puts bell peppers in the burrito and and El onions. Farlito, yeah, and El Farlito doesn't. Ah, yeah, mm. I noticed that. The wife okay. always gets slime pieces in there. The, the steak and shrimp. Yeah. It's always a steak and shrimp, and they always put like. The onions and, onions and bell peppers. We should do that next time. Blindfold burrito test. Ooh, oh, I'm with man. that. I'm actually with we that. We should have did that yeah. right now. Oh, we should have did geez. that. Man. Actually, shout out to Ben because Ben's the one that put me onto that uh, that little taco truck that that does the video oh. by Malloy's. <laughs> I went yeah. there. I went there. Yeah. What'd yeah. you think? Oh, I, 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 never, I never hype up food places because I don't want people's expectations to be hella high. So I'm like, you know, it's all right. If you want it, I, you, I would recommend this spot, but it's all right. I would follow Ben just for his food recommendation. <laughs> yeah. He's a great DJ, but if you don't leave the house like me, if you want to just go eat, Ben got some spots for you. Oh, man. For for a second, though, I wasn't really trying to um, uh, uh, advertise that spot uh, at Malloy's just because, you know, it, oh, it was pretty low key. Nobody was there. Right. And, you, you know, you show up, you get your burrito hella quick. No line. Yeah, no line. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. I mean, there was no line, and Not, it was cheap too. It was like it was like three for like what, it's, twelve it's, bucks. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yo, affordable and yeah. right next to the house. I mean, Mish fucks is with their crispy tacos, so they fry oh. up, they fry up their tacos right, and then they they dress like a regular taco, not like a Taco Bell taco. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Mish fucks with their crispy tacos instead. The uh, crispy tacos are good. The crisp, uh, what I like to do is uh, with the the burritos. Um, they don't really list it as an option, but I get the uh, burritos with the uh, birria meat. 
So so it's it's more of like a, a tender, like a really tender, like juicy burrito. Is it is it messy though? You know how it, sometimes you get the chicken, the chicken um, uh, that's that's the in the red sauce. It, you know what? It's it's a lot more juicier. Like like the juices like kind of mm. start spilling to like the bottom of it. But man, it's so good. I don't I don't make sure it lasts. It, it don't go that. <laughs> the juice don't make it down before I'm done. <laughs> with, with, with all the the, the burrito taco hype, what what are the top three burrito places that you go to? If you want a burrito cheese. They call it Brio Queso. Can I have a little bit, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with Sabao. Queso. With Sabao, right? I, I would say for me, my number one spot is the is the one that you put me on. Which is that mm-hmm. one? The one on 26th in Venice? South yes. Venice. Oh, South Venice. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, yes. I, feel like, I feel like that was the, um, not the, I don't want to say original, but I feel like that was the one that That was the Kickstarter for the one band. One of the first. One of the first. One of the first that everybody really, like, um... But it's fat. Started going to. Thank you, B. They're fat. That's why. Have you have you guys ever done like any of the ones that that are in people's backyards? Because hell of people were doing out the trunk. Yeah. Oh. Like, out, of, out of like garages. That, that's the thing right now. Yeah, it is. It's been the thing for past six months. I think that's why Venmo started to tax people. Like if yeah. you make more than six hundred bucks. Thank you, B. Yes, sir. He's playing bartender. If you pay, <laughs> if, if you spend more than six hundred bucks, like they start taxing you. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but uh, that one is the spot though. Yeah. The the one South Venice. What's it called? Patron. Patron, Patrons. And, have, and, and their shrimp tacos are smacking. Yes. You ever had shrimp tacos there? I have there? not. I have not. The crispy shrimp tacos, I right? Dip with the, the cheese? I dipped the shrimp taco in the fucking burrito sauce. Oh, <laughs> shit. Everyone in their life, like, mm. sipped the burrito sauce. Yeah. Just to see what it tastes like. I'm not saying you, like, you shot it. <laughs> yeah. But just, like, a little, like, mm, that's, like, a little sabao. You know what I mean? A little a little wetness. Just just to wet your whistle. Yeah. No, have you seen they do, like, the beer your ramen? They shit, and it's, it's a it's a tapatio ramen, right? The, the, oh. the, the ramen they use at the Los is Los Pencas. Am I saying La, Las Pencas? Yeah, they use the the tapatio ramen. Oh, like it's a ramen that's like the tapatio mm. brand. I didn't even know they had a fucking tapatio yeah. ramen. But that, yeah, that's the thing. Everyone's pouring the burrito broth into into a ramen. That's fucking sick, though. That's I, level up. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. <laughs> We gotta try it at least once. L, L does the birria lumpy. Like there's a whole birria like wave. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where yeah. like, it's like ube wave right now. Yeah. Like there's a whole birria wave. Mochi wave. Mochi. Oh. Mochi. <laughs> mochi still the wave. I think. Yeah. <laughs> like mochi still the wave. Boba is still the is still the wave. Yo. What's your what's your go to boba spot anywhere in the uh, bay? Ooh. Okay. Um, if I'm in the South Bay, Seven Leaves. If uh, I haven't even heard of that, oh, I'm gonna have to Google it that. Got, it has fancy writing, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? It, it, it's not like tap X. Like yeah. tap X I say tap X. <laughs> this is just a South Bay thing? Yeah, they have two locations in San Jose. They might even have like a third in Cupertino, I believe. Mm. But they have like, it, it's it, mm. it's not like an extensive, extensive menu, but mm-hmm. what they have is solid. The one that. It's in a shopping center, right? Um. One of them is like in a, in a strip, strip mall. mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and they have this one I haven't really seen at other places. I think it's like a, I don't want to say a mung bean, but something like that. Like a, a, M- a, a mungo? You know? <laughs> <laughs> is, is it the same? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mono, that, that's like his kryptonite. He looked at us mung like bean. mung bean? <laughs> mungo? Mungo? No, mung is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mung, mung, mung bean. Um, Mung bean boba or or uh, drink. Is that sweet? So seven it's, leaves. It's sweet. Seven leaves. Seven leaves. What else? Um, maybe East Bay. East Bay. They don't. Um, okay, so there's this is one spot that jumps out at me. I don't necessarily get the boba there, but I go there. Uh, op, not often, but for dessert a lot, mm. and it's called Mandro in Newark. Mandro. And it's kind. They're really known for their. It's this dessert called Bingsu. And it's this finely shaved ice mm. with uh, fresh fruit cut on top of it, and then mm. they sprinkle some um, mm. condensed Can, milk. Condensed milk, yeah. yeah it's, it's but it's not like the um, not Hawaiian shaved ice. Not Hawaiian shaved ice. It's flavored frozen. Uh, uh, yes, they do have My flavored man. frozen, and and on top of that, it's very like like it, I feel like with the Hawaiian shaved ice, it's a different melt in your mouth. This one it melts in your mouth, but it's a lot thicker or creamier. Pause. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, girl, I'm going to take you to the That's East so Bay. We got, we, we, we got seven leaves. We seven got leaves. Mandro. Mandro. Uh, it's Mandro Tory. Mandro. <laughs> it's Mandro. You got one in the city that you want to go to in the city? Oh, man. Let's see. Well, how would I wear, narrow it down in the city? Oh, it's on the horn, bro. Both uh, guys. Yeah. No. Um, 
song. It was. It was. It was. was it was. But I feel like um, no T pops. No T pops. <laughs> <laughs> no. No purple cow. <laughs> uh, what is the one um, on Irving across from the dispensary? I think it's called It. That's uh, not bad. Um, I T E A. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the corner, right? It's it's on the corner. Actually, it's uh, the second store from the corner, and then a block down, there's another one on the corner. Corner. That's actually not bad too. I forget the name of that one, but it's a block down from I T as well. I T Y. Okay. I T. Yeah. Um, okay. But uh, actually, close to close to uh, Daily City, they um, the one in the gas station is not bad. Um, pit stop. Oh, Yo. West, West World? Yeah, hear West people World. say that. Pit stop. Yeah, pit stop. Okay, He's a pit sleeper. Stop. Okay, he got. If you're in the South Bay listening, Seven Leaves. Seven Leaves. If you're in the East Bay listening, Mandro. 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 And if you're in, in the, the city, city or Daily City, it's... IT and then Pit Stop. Pit Stop. Man, give them something to go to. <laughs> Come man. On. Give the listeners something to go to. You know man. what I do fuck with in, mm. in the in the East Bay? I do fuck with Snow Crave. Oh, yeah, Snow yeah, Crave. yeah, 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 yeah. Snow Crave does that shaved ice kind of thing and they had this drink it's called the pineapple gummy bear to where it's like it's shaved it's like shaved ice super thin and it's tea and it tastes like it's pineapple tea and on the bottom is like the flavored jelly not boba but like flavored jelly mm. oh my god man you guys are making me hungry right now oh my god i think they also do the one um it's like um i forgot what the term is but it's like a, a toast like if, if you can imagine oh, like a bread yeah it's it, uh, with ice cream and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like if you got a loaf of bread not sliced mm. and then you cut it in half, but you you dug the middle out yep. and you put everything in there. They put ice cream. They put fucking fucking pokey steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Sunday. It's uh, a Sunday inside of a toast. It's called. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? I don't know, but it, 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 it's just like all these skinny little Asian people eating. All, <laughs> like people will share, like four people will share this toast, and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mag it's like sweet toast. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. yes, no crave at it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Man, they also have something like that in the city. I, um, I remember I had that toast thing off, uh, kind of near Hayes Valley. Um, Damn, what, was what is that toast called? Yeah, yeah. is is it a? <laughs> Oh, no, I'm, I'm just gonna butcher the name. I don't yeah. even know. <laughs> dessert, yeah. Me should be out, be about desserts. Uh, what's that one? Uh, dessert story. Over. Oh. There. Yeah. Um. They do that toast thing too, and they, they do like that shaved ice with a with a mango, mango like a mango mm -hmm. sago or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man. Um. Is is this this isn't the same one on uh, San Mateo Avenue in San Bruno, is it? No, what? that one was Aqua Club. Oh, Chop no. a lot of game like we do at the yeah. Aqua Club. Come on, dude. Okay, dude. so so there's that one, but also there's this new one like three doors down. Um, T so Society. Yeah, they also do food there. Yeah. Yo, I, I wanted to go back and try the food. <laughs> society. Society a. used to be Cleo's. Oh yeah, the oh, steakhouse. Fuck. Shoot, it's it's not Cleo's. That's Cleo's. the steakhouse. Yeah, right? They used to be Cleo's. Cleo's. They had good sides. They did, but then they also had like ants and roaches. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I say that whole that whole street um, has a lot of good restaurants? Because yeah. yes. there's a Mediterranean place that's really good. Um, there's also the uh, Indian pizza spot. Is that uh, good? I never had. It's I've not never bad. Had Indian dude. pizza. It's not bad. Ben explores outside his house. Yo, go fuck the Red Sea down the street. Yeah. Red, Red Sea is chilling. Okay. So is that. So is Zante's. If you're Zante's, you know Zante. what I mean. If you if you you're dating the girl from the mission, let's go to Zante's. More <laughs> champagne. Zante. <laughs> More chef. Thank you. We're right we're here. Society but also, though. But also across from. Artichoke Joe's, there's a sushi spot that closes at 2 a.m. Ninja, Ninja. Ninja. Hey, the only yeah, reason I yeah, know yeah. that is Ben, hit, uh, I, I seen Ben post and it was like 1 a.m. I was like, where the fuck you at? <laughs> what, <laughs> how are you getting, how are you getting fucking like caterpillar rolls, yeah, yeah, yeah. spider rolls and the, shit? So they got sushi uh, um, and also they do Korean food as well. And and directly next door to that, I think they do like ramen or soups and they're open late too, like 1 mm. or 2 a.m. as well. I fuck with uh, Aji Ichi. What is that? That's that's the other Japanese restaurant on the on the corner that closes earlier. Oh. So your spot, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. then the ramen spot, and then there's like a there's like a uh, I think it's like a hairdresser, and then it's Aji Iji. Okay, okay. All, all across from Artichoke. Okay, okay. I got to try that next time. Artichoke used to be lightweight after club spot. If you, you don't want to go to Lucky Chances, like you just want to go there and order your food and wait for it to be done. Get your spam and eggs. <laughs> get your fucking 
What else? They would have they would have prime rib. They had this duck wonton soup. Yo. Yo, for seven bucks. <laughs> Yo. Yo, if you want to know where to eat as an adult, come listen, on. Listen to Three Nine Nine Podcast. Come on. I'm telling you where to eat in the Bay Area. Come on. Oh man. Late night, early morning, whatever you want. Ninja yeah. Ninja Sushi, right? You Ninja me- Sushi. I mean, it's not the best, but at for you know anything. At two a.m. when you're drunk. At two a.m. Yo, it's <laughs> yeah. good. It's good. It's solid. <laughs> Uh, what I and you probably attest to this because you focus sushi. Isn't it crazy how you see uh, what's the one that we used to be the uh, it used to be a KFC over on El Camino near the AMPM? Oh, now it's fucking everywhere. What, what? uh, Amami's? Amami's okay. is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have one here in the mission now. Th- yeah, that, okay, that was sushi raw. Okay, RIP sushi raw. <laughs> and then also the um, the new not new, but they opened during uh, COVID times. Um, uh, Tom Tom San Ra- Ramen in Westlake, next to where like they have the uh, laundromat. Oh, um, on uh, where the Thai restaurant yeah, is. Yeah, up yeah, there. yeah, yeah. And the like Quickly's over there. Or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So they so they have a ramen spot, and then the people who do that ramen are actually the same people who do Amami's. Is it? Yeah. Same hey. same cuts and everything, but they don't do they don't offer like as extensive a menu. But you can get like a, a, a shirashi or like, a, you know. A, What's a shirashi for the for uh, all those normies out here? Uh, <laughs> basically, it's like um, like sliced fish over rice, basically. Or, okay. or Their omakase plate? Is oh. that, am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's a hitter. It's like, okay. it's, like, it's like chef's choice, right? Yeah. So the, mm. the omakase is like um, chef's choice is like nigiri, and then they'll do different cuts of fish. Mm. Um, I like I like Amami for that because it's it's solid and it's cheap. Yeah. Like if you go in a city, like you're gonna you gonna like, pay top dollar for that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like like uh, what was that? Was it Subasa or um, you know they'll they'll start off at like ninety nine. You know what I mean? Easy for, for for one of those little plates. Yeah, yeah. 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 But but like for forty, uh, was it thirty eight bucks? I think it's either thirty eight bucks or like forty mm. bucks. Yo, a, a solid um, selection of fish. I'm still hungry though. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I was like, "Let me get a. Do you have any Philly rolls? <laughs> you want to fill up on cheap shit? Like, uh, get a, let me get a cali- imitation crab, Cali. <laughs> Speaking of sushi, how many times have you been to Japan? Um, only. Two or three? Oh. Only, only two or three. Well, I mean, nice. not, not, I mean, not, I mean, actually, we were there right before we went to lockdown here. Yeah. So we went to lockdown the second weekend of March, mm. and I got back from there. Um, uh, there was twenty nine days in February that year, so twenty uh, February twenty ninth got back. You home. barely made it. Yo, well, um, when I was leaving there, they were already locking down schools uh, until April. The crazy thing is, though, the first so the first time I ever went to Japan, maybe 2016 or something like that. They, uh, I guess in Asia, it is it's more common to wear masks out there. But I was yeah. kind of it's tripping. a courtesy thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I was tripping. I was like, yo, why why are people in masks? Because I was totally not used to it. And then um, I I learned afterwards, it's if they're sick, they don't want to get other people sick, which which totally reframes it. I'm like, yo. It, and it blew my yeah. mind because I was already impressed with Japan cleanliness. <laughs> yeah, dog. Mm. Cleanliness. Tokyo has like a, a way more denser population than New York, but extremely clean. Hmm. And every and I don't want to say extremely courteous, but yo, yo, it's pretty courteous. I didn't see. Any, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty. I, I didn't see any bike locks out there. There'll be like tons of bikes just chilling there, what? and no, they're not even locked up or anything. It just because I don't want to say nobody steals, but. It's not there. It's not yeah. a concern. Exactly. Which, That's, which, it, it, which I totally cannot relate to. Us being from a city, oh, it's, yeah. it, it's always like well, the even, concern, right? Even when you lock lock it up, you're like, oh man, this might not be here when yeah. I get yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> you park, you park a certain place in Mission yeah. Rock. My window is getting bashed at yeah. Mission yeah. Rock. Is, is Japan diverse like how it is out here? No, no, no it's not. It's hella Japanese. It's it is. It's See? Japan. Oh, <laughs> I'm it's hella, hella Japanese. I'm just but saying. but I I do remember distinctly that when I when I found out that that was the reason they wore masks, I automatically said to my wife i was like it'll never work in america yeah because yeah. <laughs> because and i don't want to say because we're selfish but i mean you know everybody really looks out yeah, for self here <laughs> yeah you know we really look out for self here and this yeah. was this was like uh four or five years pre-pandemic mm. like you know uh, not even a thought in anybody's mm-hmm. mind or mm-hmm. whatnot That's but right. i i mean but really when you frame it that way like i don't want to get you sick it's like 
thank you. Yeah, yeah. dog, for real. Yeah. For real. For like, real. I know I know I've had the flu and gone out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I, yeah. I mean I mean I mean I mean like this is pre pre pandemic. Yeah. I've had yeah. I've had a cold or a flu yeah. and I and I probably and I I've still gone out. Be yeah. at the hookah bar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, but, blueberry, blueberry. But I, 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 I would probably not share a drink or food, and I'll probably yeah. like preface like, "Yo, I'm sick. Don't, don't, you know, drink from here." You're still high fiving, motherfucker. Oh yeah. hell yeah! I'm still touching doorknobs. I'm still touching everything. At the most, if you're smoking, if I'm smoking a bun with you and I'm sick, I have my own crutch. <laughs> That's just, I don't want to get you sick. I don't have my own crutch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or we're fine. We're fine. What was the best thing you've eaten in Japan? Oh, um, this last. Last time around, surprisingly, the pasta. What? I well, swear well, to God. Out of all things, you said pasta? Yo, okay. So um, I went to Japan with uh, Roland mm. and our homie Ryan. Shout out to Roland and Ryan. And, and literally, even before we... Because uh, I, I made a pit stop in the Philippines first, and before I met with them, they had already had. Is that pasta. where you got the 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 finger <laughs> tattoos, the, the wooden spoon and fork? I, okay, so the wooden spoon. Okay, that was the same trip, but I got these in Hawaii because we went from I love Japan that, that's to dope. Hawaii. Yeah, the wooden spoon and fork. That was like that's that was like for the culture because yeah. you know in in a Filipino household they have the uh, yeah. wooden spoon. But also, fuck, I love to eat too. So you feel me? <laughs> yeah. Like, you're out here with your hands, knuckles up. <laughs> so pasta was the best thing you ate. Bro, what? We ate. Okay, so w before I even met up with them, they ate pasta like let's say two or three times already, and I was like, dog, we're in Japan, we can eat anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it, so we finally went to the pasta spot. We wanted it going back again because it's so fucking good. Like, I, I remember one of the nights I ordered two pastas because I wanted to try everything Damn. on the menu. It was so fucking good. What kind of pasta was it? Like, oh, it was just like fucking sauce. fettuccine? It, it, it was all different kinds. Carbonara? You know what it is? Is that I feel, and this is going to be a, an overgeneralization, but the feeling that I got is that whatever <sighs> you did, you did it well or you mastered it mm. i hear that a lot yeah. you know what i mean yeah so dog like even if i went to japan and they said hey man all you can eat is 7-eleven you'd be eating so good because like good 7-eleven food yo <laughs> really food at 7-eleven is good as fuck everything what, in there is good yes what, what was what was the illest thing you've seen at the 7-eleven like um probably my favorite thing is they'd have the uh sandwiches it, it would just it would just be simple sandwiches like the, the katsu sandwich or like the egg sandwiches Egg sandwich, tuna sandwich, like you can yeah. even get the combo. Even like the wrapping w had thought into it because the wrapping out here, you know, it's just one big ass paper and you got to fumble with the tape mm -hmm. and shit. There, it's like, you know, you, you pull like one little uh, string and then the whole shit just opens up for you. Like Japan doesn't half ass nothing. Oh, no, they, 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 they go all in on everything they do. Yeah. And, and it, it made like the first time going there mm -hmm. made me realize more, you know, when they talk about here. There's a lot of red tape to get stuff done, or we're just not efficient enough here. We are not efficient here at all. <laughs> if you if you take a bullet train in Japan, and I, and I remember they've been talking about this bullet train to LA for Stop fucking recording. fucking years. Yep. No. Stop recording, huh? Well, then press record. Okay. There it is. Bullet train. Sorry. Oh my bad. Okay. So yeah, I mean, like they've been talking about the bullet train like here going to uh, Southern California for years. Okay. Over there, they, the bullet train A clean as fuck and and when you realize like how efficient it was and how easy it was to go from a city like i would say if we had a bullet train here let's say we get from the bay to la you know let's say in two or three hours okay it, which is in, like commuting just to sacramento okay. you know what i mean yeah but it would never happen out here because you'd have to you know go through different counties and do different things everybody you know nobody knows uh who's gonna pick up the tab for what you know what i mean but I feel like um, it was man. more cohesive cohesiveness there. Duh. It's efficient. The efficiency is mind blowing. That's and that's the key word: efficiency, right? Everything's more efficient. Yeah. Food was more efficient. You said like it, it, it just makes clean. sense. And you said it was a lot of people like like that. I always think of like that that crosswalk whenever people cross and it's just people took over the whole street and then. But what, but once it turns red, nobody no yeah. one's in the street like no trying to make it. Like, it's called a scramble. Quick. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> scramble. It's called a pedestrian scramble. But but you, I mean I mean the thing is like you know everybody everybody I feel like mm. every, if everybody is on the same page with a simple you know concept like we're not gonna throw uh, garbage on the street. Mm. 
It's so simple. Yeah. Simple Why concept. Why can't we all do it? Because we're selfish. Because we're fucking American. <laughs> yeah. Like, if, we think Americans. that's freedom, right? We think it's... I'm, I'm curious to see, like, like what's their, like, uh, garbage and recycling system like? You know I, what I mean? I, I'm very curious because... Throw they, it in the was, sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, you know, like, like New York. Throw that shit in the water, <laughs> New York motherfuckers throw it on the sidewalk. Yeah. Hey, yo, B. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but I'm, I'm sure Japan is a country has its own problems of course that, that of course. you know what i mean but what do you think of japan's number one problem is what do you think uh being there know. being there multiple times uh um, what do you think it's not it's not overpopulation probably i don't know no, because i, I mean so. according to what he said it's very organized it's very clean uh, so I, don't think I, I think from what i the feedback that i've gotten is uh, more mental health really yeah i was gonna i was thinking it was the most expensive city on the planet well maybe in tokyo it might be but, dubai yeah. right I don't know. No, they say it's Japan. Really? The, yen the, the, yen, the yen is the highest uh, mm -hmm. thing, uh, currency. Currency. Man. Currency spitter. <laughs> Damn. Well, so the best thing you ate was, was you said everything is pretty good. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. <laughs> Olive Garden. <laughs> it had a, Olive Garden. It had a Buca de Beppo. <laughs> ben found it. <laughs> the Pope. Um, man, best thing. Oh, best thing was most memorable meal this last time around was an all-you-can-eat wagyu spot Whoa. And, and, and and you like you know when you go out here to like wagyu like you'll get a little piece of steak for like 130 mm -hmm. you know, 150 whatever yeah. dog it was all you can eat for like 90 bucks what and and it wasn't just a steak it was like salad soup surprisingly the highlight was the fucking soup. <laughs> really? <laughs> it was so fucking good. Um, and it, but they serve you the uh, wagyu along with like um, different uh, salts and different um, a couple of different sauces. Pink Himalayan. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and you can choose like they they start you off like with a couple different cuts. Like maybe one is more lean, one is more fattier, mm. and then you kind of choose after that like. You know, I want I want a more of this kind more of more marbled and yeah Ooh. yeah yeah. I think the one with the the fattier one, it sounds good, but after a while, it's very rich. Like you're yeah. like, oh my god, this is a lot. It's like that garlic butter that coats your mouth after Benny uh, Hanna's, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that garlic butter. Yeah. After a while, it's like, yo, this is almost too fat. Like not even fatty, it's but it's hella rich. It's very rich. Like you know, I started going more lean cuts, Ooh. and and actually. Uh, now that we're talking about this, um, I'm going to New York in January, and we found an all-you-can-eat waggy spot out there. Ooh. Yeah, and and actually, it's not a bad price. The it's um, two price points. One is uh, ninety nine dollars, and the other is one thirty five. And the only the only stipulation is there is a time limit, an hour and a half time, limit, ninety minutes. It's it's cook yourself though, right? Um, you can do either or. You can either have somebody there, um, or you can, you know, ask for the meats. They, I don't, I mean, they're not going to bring out like an overabundance of meats. Yeah. They'll, they'll bring out a little at a time. You know what I mean? I'm sure they judge it like in well. New York, huh? In New York, um, that's not bad for a hundred. Yeah, hell yeah. Because I feel like bad. at yeah. a regular steakhouse, like you, uh, over a hundred, you'll get like a, a small piece of like a, a wagyu steak. I mean, yeah. You go to Costco out here. Oh yeah, it was like eighty bucks for two steaks. Yeah, yeah. no, it was, and some would it'll be uh, actually even more than that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Costco, best cut of meat that I ever uh, at Costco is the ribeye cap. Hello, ribeye cap Hello. at Costco. Uh, Come on. Okay. It's not, so, it's not the ham that hangs on the hook. No. Oh, okay. So what it is is, you know, when you get prime rib, okay. there's a little strip behind it um, that's very uh, tender. Ooh. What they do is they cut off that strip mm -hmm. um, and then they they wrap it in a circle with um, like butcher's Ooh. string or something like that. Okay. And the I've only seen it at Costco and one butcher place. Um, like but, a Draker's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something Andronicals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it's not a common like cut you can get like yeah. a normal like Safeway or, mm. or whatever. And But if you ever see it at Costco, I would definitely get it. It's a little pricier. Say it again. Uh, the rib eye cap. Rib eye cap. cap. No cap. No yeah. cap. <laughs> All cap. All no cap. cap. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's hard Ooh. to mess up. Even if you kind of overcook it, mm. it's still tender as Ooh. hell. What do you do? What, medium well? Uh, medium I rare? usually do medium rare. Yeah. Like medium rare to medium. Okay. It's, mo <laughs> it's still mooing. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, what I'll if when I do it at home, I kind of um, use butter and then I'll, I'll flash. Um, yeah. 
I'll do each side for like, you know, let's say three minutes or whatnot. Okay. But they're, they're pretty thick too. You can even do it a little longer. Do you and throw it in the oven too for like 20 minutes? I, I have in the past uh, done that. Like like really just sear both sides and then throw it in the oven. Just to lock in the flavor and yeah, then. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Hey, I'm curious. What's the McDonald's like in Japan? Oh man, the McDonald's is good as fuck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, is ramen? They, what is it? They have um, the one, the couple things that jump out at me that I remember is the uh, EB, EB shrimp. Yeah, shrimp. What? Uh, shrimp burger. patty burger. So, so what? instead of like, it, it's their version of like a, a flip, flip fish. fish. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then um, just the different sauces that they have for like the French fries and stuff like that. It's but, like it's like a mix, right? Even with the chicken nuggets, like you could get this packet of like. Like mm. different salts, and you put it in a bag, and you just shake it. You could do that. You could do that. Wait, they have sauces we don't have. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Like, like powder, powder. Like, like seasoning. What? Yeah. Um, like a teriyaki sauce. Um, God, I'm trying to remember. I, man, I I just I'm not even gonna make it. Anything with like fukaki, like fukaki like, <laughs> fries. You know what I mean? Shit, I I don't even remember. They Probably got, they got wasabi at McDonald's. <laughs> I know a comedian. I think it's a uh, Lil Duval. He says he tours the world. And yep. He only eats at McDonald's. McDonald's. He doesn't get sick. Yeah. I, uh, I believe. Hey, it. I I think when you're with a, a company that large, they want to keep everything um, kind of same. Yeah. And consistent. Man. Bland. Okay. Well, what's your go-to thing at McDonald's then? Um, you know what? Like on the go, I I usually just get the uh, two cheeseburger meal just because I'm trying to keep it light. But okay. Once in a while, I really like the Big Mac, man. It's classic and it's like, like for me, it, it reminds me of when I was like a little ass kid. Poor man's Big Mac is you get the mug double, mm -hmm. no mayonnaise, no, no mug double, no mustard, no ketchup. Add Mac sauce. What? And lettuce. Wow. Poor that, man's Big Mac. Does that add up really? to the same price? It's it it's like seventy five cents more. But, oh. but a McDouble is like one fifty to two dollars. Yeah. So you that you can get two of those and that's equivalent <laughs> up to one Big Mac. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> poor man's Big Mac. It's a, it's, mini, a it's a mini Big Mac. Muck double, no ketchup, no mustard. Damn. Add Mac sauce. Damn. Let it, it could let us pickles. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. All these little food hacks. Yeah, fat man friendly. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the fish and sh fish and chip spot that was over here on Alamany near near Balboa? Mm. It's now a Chinese restaurant. But it used to be a fish and chip spot. Is, is it the one on Ocean? Uh, mission, on like, mission, no, no, Aluminium Ocean. Alum, I know, Al yeah, 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 yeah. Where? it's like um. What? This was like eighties though. I, never, I, I don't know if I remember the fish and chip spot though, but I know which Chinese the, spot you're talking. about. The one about. on right on the corner, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah, I'm not what? sure. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was doing in the eighties, <laughs> and and I was I remember a lot of riding Fucking bikes. Sesame Street. Yeah. <laughs> riding bikes, <laughs> riding bikes. Actually, no, you know. Um, it's funny because uh avoiding I, GMP. <laughs> no, <laughs> come on. Come on. I, I feel like and I tell my daughter this a lot um that when when you had to move like you had to wiggle like through the city um you know depending on certain times and different certain areas you yeah. just couldn't like walk certain blocks yeah um i remember there actually there still is like the billiards and arcade place on uh, geneva mission yeah Billy i would never Pelican. yeah i would never go in there in the afternoon i would go there like if we would wake up hella early <laughs> like yo i'm sure nobody's yeah. out here no one's here <laughs> gangsters don't wake till up like early. two o'clock <laughs> and then we have to go home get all your street fighter in oh, yeah. <laughs> before two o'clock get all your fucking neo geo exactly in. Uh, exactly damn. or even like just just maneuvering through like crocker park or like um crocker. you know even certain neighborhoods um in the e <laughs> dog seriously come on e mob was a well, thing yeah. back then there was this thing that a lot of people don't know about it's called geneva towers oh, oh hell yeah, yeah. the and, data and, ship tore down and it was yeah. like imagine a new york sky high project yeah uh -huh. yeah that was the one and only one out here in san francisco so all those ghetto motherfuckers in there would yeah. fucking scatter around this fucking neighborhood and just cause Man. havoc. Well, Which is why we can't go to them. <laughs> we, we, we can't go to the billiard spot in that. Yeah. You, know what I'm you can't. Well, yeah. See, the thing too is, I remember um, I had a homie. He went to Reardon, uh, who lived directly across the street from there. Oh, I don't know if you. Oh, I don't know. I'm not Ryan? Kidding. No, no, no. It was a uh, uh, junior. Etch on. No, no, no. Oh. Jr. Jr. He he actually. I don't. I'm not gonna say where he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He lived in even mission, yeah. uh, basically. But yes, um, yeah, no, yeah. it was another um, one. But anyways, uh, I was uh, we, I was kind of tripping because they uh, they owned like a dentist office in Daly City, and I was like, yo, they live right here across from the towers. <laughs> across the towers. Oh man. Yeah. 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 My, my mom uh, used to do HR, and she interviewed someone the day after the towers 
tore down. He was Demo. a security guard. And then um, he was. My mom was like, "How was that like?" She goes, "He goes. I seen a dead body every day." <sighs> Cause it was Jeez. just like the stairways, right? It was stairways. It was just he goes. He said, "I seen a dead body every day." Yeah, that was. I think it was the first of its kind of. I want to say twenty five floors. Was it twenty five floors? It was. It was I, it, at least it was at least. There was probably like thirty. Motherfuckers but, celebrated when that shit got torn down. Oh, you know I what? think people was watching from the uh, from the, the hill. Top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it's. I mean, today you can't think of a public. I've, I worked in public housing. You can't think of any public housing that's multiple floors like that. Uh, There's like a three floor, maybe a four floor. That's why, like, the, but that was like a twenty-five plus. That's crazy. That's intense. that's basically New York yeah. shit. Yeah, that's oh, Marcy man. Project. Marcy, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real, you don't see that on the West Coast. Not even in LA. But we had Geneva Towers. That was crazy. That was crazy. Did you, did you mix a bit? Back on your Japan shit. Did okay. you did you eat uh, chicken sashimi? Huh? Oh. um... I did not. That's sketchy for us, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's because. That, that's I mean, how, do, how do you eat chicken raw? It's raw. Yeah. How? How? Yeah, how? It's just, Please lemon on it's it. It's supposed maybe? to be like the well, clean, it's, it's a clean cut, right? It's the cleanest way. It's not, not all no these added cut. products. I mean, and I, added I mean, preservatives. I mean, I mean even, even here in actually in the states, like we the way our farming is way different than the rest of the world. You know what I mean? Because even when you cross into Canada. Like I remember um, going one of the first times ever going to Vancouver and they were uh, like some Canadian homies were kind of just schooling us on how the meat tastes different there. Um, I don't want to say it tastes cleaner, but I mean, you know, there's they, they don't allow the the stuff that we feed cows here, mm. you know, in, in other countries. You know what I mean? In America, we grind up the dead chickens and we <laughs> and we feed it to the chickens. No, no, no seriously, no, no lie, no lie though. I'm not even joking. You could you could buy a, a boiled chicken in a can and it comes from Asia. Yeah. Mm. Boiled canned Gross. chicken. Kevin, that can be mm. a Gross. boiled canned chicken. Yeah, I seen the, I seen the chicken in a can, Thank you, and sir. there was some sir. dude on YouTube trying to eat like seven in a row. It's so hell no, <laughs> God, dude. It's so gross. But have you guys had uh, like raw beef, like a beef carpaccio? Oh, yeah. uh, tartar. Oh, tartar. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I get my thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, even like uh, Ben Trey has their own version. Yeah, yeah. Ben Trey's right? right? yeah. yeah. Ben. People don't know Ben Trey is a real like pho bar, Ooh. like Vietnamese restaurant bar. When, when it was that small one right next to mom's tofu oh, house yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you was table to table with strangers yeah and didn't get, care eating with your hands didn't bro didn't care didn't care because the food was that good that yeah. that five spice chicken is some oh, shit man. to talk about yeah. I remember the first time i brought a homie he's never had any vietnamese or pho ever i got that plate it's just hella raw slices of beef yep. yeah and he was like what the fuck are you a lion <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, bro. i was like try this shit yeah. you know fucking mexican dudes they they're I'm like a killer oh, whale yeah. you know like, you stop eating this look like, you're not lying bro it's like watch this squeeze a little lemon and then he's like oh shit is pretty good yeah oh actually i i think um we in um Damn, I'm trying to remember. What, I think it was just a beef tartare. We were in uh, Paris, and then it's kind of oh, a common thing. Me. No, 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 no. You no, got to no, get no, more no. stamps no. in your but passport. No, 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 no. Since we're there, since we're there, now you got to talk about <laughs> yeah, Paris yeah. food. Like, What's up with Where's Paris? your beret? Was it raspberry? <laughs> <laughs> you know, surprisingly, I was very disappointed with the food in Paris. What? You got, you got to stand, because they, they don't let you sit down unless... Um, you spend a lot, right? Or that was that Spain? No, nah, I'm trying to think what it what. And uh, the overall experience that I personally had there, I, I I actually went with a few homies, and we were kind of all on the same consensus. Like after afterwards, uh, we had way more fun in Amsterdam than Paris, because mm. um, Paris. Uh, Did you feel racism? What? Against um actually not because we were Asian, I think because we we're American. They don't like Americans, stupid Americans. <laughs> stupid Americans. <laughs> but you know, we were kind of stupid though. <laughs> oh, I, re I remember um imbecile. <laughs> when I start using words like yeah. the motherfucker made imbecile. <laughs> Stupid Ben, actually, <laughs> I was called a, a terrorist out there. Oh, it was a, a terrorista. No. Actually, Taliban. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, what it was is they were trying to uh, pickpocket. Uh, I, I heard uh, I had read beforehand to um, watch out for pickpockets, and they uh, tried to run up, and I felt like uh, there were there were like three of them trying to run up on me, like um, trying to 
get me to sign some petition or whatever. But I think that was the distraction to, mm -hmm. you know, reach in my pocket. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once they did, I started yelling at them. And then wow. after afterwards, they called me a terrorist. Stupid Americans. <laughs> what were they? When I said it, I don't know. I don't know. They they, they were they, Paris. <laughs> That's crazy, right? They yeah, try to run because they knew you were foreign. You run up on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at all this I, I heard, Nike on heard, this guy. I heard, I heard yeah. it was a common thing though. Look at all, all this ACG out, dog. <laughs> ACG. Stupid Americans. Stupid Americans. <laughs> It was the best thing in Paris, their pasta. <laughs> yeah. It was their sushi. It was their sushi. Well, okay, no, no, no. Best thing in Paris, that's true. Best thing. Yeah. Tartar. Damn. I, I, either I have a terrible memory right Ooh, now, or it, it just, just wasn't, anchor. it just, nothing really Not even not a croissant, no, nothing? No, because I French heard that. French toast, nothing? <laughs> I heard that there's not a lot of good food in like I don't know, I want to say Europe. I I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, yeah. I I I gotta maybe I gotta give it a second. You're, maybe I didn't go to the right spots. Yeah, you know you're not the only one. You're not the only one to give that. Answer. <laughs> yeah. No, not like bread. <laughs> Have you been to Europe? Uh, I've been to Spain. Okay, mm. I've been to Spain. What do you what best thing in Spain? Paella. Mm. Paella. Paella. Paella cuz. And the uh, <laughs> uh and honestly is the middle the Middle Eastern food is smacking okay. <laughs> Dude, the shawarma. Oh my oh, god, man. Euro <laughs> smack it out what? there. Yeah. Man. Australia too. Australia there. Mm. Uh, there what was really the first time I had Brazilian barbecue was in was in Spain. The mm. the, the, the the cut all you can eat cut, like the chuscaria yeah, yeah, yeah. was in Spain. Okay. And then I came back here and I was like, what? We got a spetus? <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing? Yeah. Rice and beans? I fell in love with a Jamaican bartender in, in Spain. <laughs> she, wow. She was Jamaican and she was English. So she had oh, an wow. English accent, but so she was spoke like, Spanish. It was like, wow. call me now for your free reading. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was like, she, she was like uh, a, a thicker version of the, the black girl from The Craft. Mm. Oh, you know what I'm talking AKA, about? She was also in Half Baked. A oh, Mary Jane. Okay, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I know She's her. A thicker version of that. I want to talk to Samson. <laughs> <laughs> Get into the moon because I'm lifted. <laughs> oh. oh man, hey, you guys uh, see uh, Dave Chappelle at uh, Chase? Yeah. Um, oh, you went? Week. I didn't yeah. go. Oh man, I was a uh, I uh, and I I I equated it to mm -hmm. you know his movie uh, Block Party. When yeah. it was him trying to put together a concert in Brooklyn, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I I equated to like the 2020 version of him trying to put together a comedy show in the Pretty middle much. of a pandemic in Pretty Ohio. Much. Yeah, but but uh, the highlight was probably like the performances after. I was gonna say the, the roast when they brought hella people on oh. stage. <laughs> yeah. So they, they brought hella random motherfuckers on stage. Oh. And the dude that did the Comedy Central roast. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Jeff Ross. Jeff he, Ross, the yeah. roast master. He <laughs> roasted random motherfuckers, <laughs> Asian bitches, fucking Samoan and, dude. Yeah, dude. I was like, that's the best one. <laughs> Jeff was, Ross, and, and that's all freestyle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. he's a, a talent. That's he's a, a beast. Which is why I thought that was the best. Because <laughs> yeah, you want, because you get there to laugh, though, right? Yeah, but, and he, he made me fucking yeah, die. Dude. Yeah. Oh <laughs> man. And but these people volunteered to come up on stage. Yeah. Uh, they that's, they oh yeah, she was she was trying to plug her oh, shit I'm like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was she was heavy on trying to plug uh, whatever she was doing. She she grabbed it. the mic from him. Oh, yeah. oh, is that right? Yeah. Super aggressive. Oh man. So he curated like music. I heard Guapoli performed. Yep. I heard um who else performed? E forty, Too yeah. Short. Little John. Little John Little John. Hey, uh, Little John. Raphael Sadiq. R Ray Ray performed? Yes. Oh man. A as as uh, as Rafael Sadiq or as uh, Tony no, Tony Tone? Rafael Sadiq. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was actually uh, extra. I, you know what? I um, and quick plug. Um, <laughs> Please. Do. I, uh, maybe about almost ten years ago, I came out with a mixtape. It was a Rafael Sadiq tribute mixtape. Where can they find that right now? Um, I think it's on Mixcloud right yeah. now. Shout out to Mixcloud. Yeah. Still let you do mixes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's on Mixcloud right now, and. Um, I feel bad because I I it was a homie store in San Diego, uh, Fresh Yard, 
and they uh, had approached me at the time uh, if we wanted to do a mixtape together. I was like, yeah, I'm down. And then I, I uh, the concept that I, I came at them with that I had always wanted to do was a Raphael Sadiq mixtape. And I don't, I don't know if they were that thrilled about it. Like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? Because I think at the time, you know, maybe nobody was giving his flowers. Um, but I feel like, man, was this post a, Lucy Pearl? Raphael this is, Pike? yeah, this is probably um, right. Uh, yeah, this is definitely post Lucy Pearl. This Lucy is definitely, Pearl was a vibe. If that would have kept oh, around, yeah. stayed around. Oh, Raphael man. Sadiq, Lucy Pearl, Tony Tony Tony. Fucking the catalog. Is Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, and I think he did, he uh, curates the music for um, what's that show on HBO? Insecure. Does I think, he? I, I think he uh, curates the music uh, for that show as well. I I thought he was living with DJ Quick for a while, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you should be here as a slept on track. Oh, yeah, yeah, You should, yeah, you should yeah, be yeah, here yeah, yeah. as a slept on track. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, um, that is like um, a low key. Well, no, nah, that's a high key freak ass song. Yeah. <laughs> or the uh, I'm coming home. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wear something. Ding see through. Yeah, Come yeah. on, yeah. Randall Sadiq is a vibe. Is a vibe. 2020 was really out there. That was like. That was them digital. That was the era of like digital underground. Mm -hmm. Them. Mm -hmm. What was really oh and Hammer Hammer. Oh, yeah, Hammer yeah, like yeah. that was that era of like Oakland was like the cornerstone for like mainstream Bay Area music. Oh yeah, yeah for sure for sure. What you call it? Um, actually he had uh, Dwayne Wiggins' son up there with him playing the piano for him. Is so that it, was, right? it was Rafael Sadiq, and I I believe it, he said it was Dwayne Wiggins' son. I, no one, none of them named Tony, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, none of them. I'm trying to remember the third dude's name. Hold on. <laughs> no one knows what his name is. Tony. <laughs> Tony, 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 Tony. Baloney. <laughs> Tony Baloney. Oh man. So, but yeah, that was, that was a that was a good show. That was that, a good show. Yeah, great I'm, show. I, I missed out. So, so Jeff Ross is that's that's that dude though. I yeah. understand why he took him on tour. <laughs> like, he, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a great pre, like an opener. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great warm up knows how to like you know uh, just get in the, the crowd room. right yeah yeah for sure I, and and like 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 you're saying like the getting the crowd involved in the show too yeah you know what I mean great who else? Guapale performed who else Guapale that was pretty much them five I think four I thought I Ma no was not Mozzie there no 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 I don't no. know who that was I don't remember. Dave Chappelle I remember catching him at Punchline oh dude in the city I, I think for a while like. Everybody was just running into him in the city. I remember yeah. seeing him like uh, I was DJing at Eve at the time, and he was there. Easy, <laughs> Eve. Eve. Where was that again? That Eve. is on a uh, Howard across from Temple. You, you don't tell me Ben wasn't putting in work. <laughs> no. Eve Club Six. Come on, Ben's been oh, putting man. in work, oh, man. man. Um, what you call it? E oh, the last time I seen him though, and I wasn't DJing. It was a. Uh, uh, after hours in Chinatown, hey. and which is funny because now it's an actual like spot. Spot. It's called Lions I, Den now. Yeah, I did. Lions. So well. <laughs> yeah, I went there once, um, so and it was well, it was the most interesting mix of people. Yeah, like you had maybe like the the age range was probably early twenties up to like seventies. Yeah, Asian gangsters. Yeah, yes. With the the night like the restaurant nightlife. Yeah, yeah. And and like like techie tech SF mm -hmm. and like maybe like some old school. It was like a, a strange ass mix. It was current it was SF. Like, it was just yeah. everyone in SF at the time. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> and this is like super recent. This is maybe like a few months ago. And I was. It like, was like Trader Joe's crowd. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, oh I put it in a club. This, it was, and and we, we stumbled. <laughs> on it like by accident because we were having um my ties at um uh, uh room no no uh lipo lounge and and then so we were walking and then we heard music and i was like we're like yo like, yeah, where they're, they're slapping from? yeah I was like, and, and it's a slap too from? right and and then we 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 kind of followed the music and then we we went to the alleyway i was, I was like dog this is the same alleyway after hours used to be at like yo is, like, that, is that kaylani <laughs> like, oh shit like, they're playing mozzie yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we we went in there and i was yeah. like yo this is the after hour spot but it's like an actual like real like yeah. regular time spot now uh -huh. legit yeah yeah so so i have homies like like that rotate in and out of there um currently and uh man i we were we were like standing there and as djs we we're like man how would you play this room right now just yeah because it was such a broad yeah. range of people and ages like i don't even know where to go with this yeah speaking of which of 
catering to that ju- to mm. that 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 uh age range of like let's say teens all the way to 70s what's your what's your go-to what because ben's a wedding dj <laughs> shout out to ben oh, if, if you need a dj for what he's dj phil's wedding <laughs> oh, um, yeah, shit. If, if you uh if you were to pick one song to get to just to fill the dance floor at a party like if the dancing just started and you wanted to mm. start off what would be oh, that one song that you know it's man. gonna work mm. okay so so my approach really is at the very beginning to play to everybody and something popular yeah and and i feel like for me personally uh, there's a couple like mm. go-to's that i personally do dancing um, queen <laughs> <laughs> well well i i I feel like the majority recently has been like a Bruno Mars track. Yeah. Just because uh-huh. like yes. young people know it, old people know it. Yeah. It's He's friendly safe. to everybody. Yeah. It's very safe yeah. and, and it invites everybody. Yeah. Because in the beginning, my approach is like get everybody on the floor, old and young. And then as the night goes on, older people tend to go home because yeah. they get tired. Yeah. And then that's when we start to turn up. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, so so it'll either be like a Bruno Mars track. I've tried out like like, like a Montel Jordan mm-hmm. or like a September. This is how we do mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> September. Oh, Earth, Wind & Fire? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, what's your first go-to cha-cha song? Like, you're, oh, you're about to do what, to do what cha-cha said. Stop it. You're about to do what, stop it. You're about to do what cha-cha said. <laughs> it's prime and, time. And it's midnight. 50, the 50 year olds are out yep. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone tips you, was like, hey, do a cha cha set for us. And you're yeah. like, I got you. Yeah, you yeah. know what? I, I don't have like, I have like the, the crate that I just go through, and but I don't have a first one. It's it's pretty much the same one that every everybody, um, the same cha cha stuff that everybody yeah. already plays. You know what I mean? There's just a lot of go to. I mean, I'll probably mix in maybe like some some current stuff for like the kids. Like you can do some Miami bassy type stuff. Oh, to booty it. bass. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, or even <laughs> like, <laughs> or, or more of like a like a I know J or a, like a Ghost Town DJs or Ghost Town, yeah, or if Ghost you want to go universe. like um like you know like the the late nineties early two thousands uh, Filipino like R and B groups they used to, they used to have like up tempo yeah they used to have like <laughs> up tempo type remixes yeah, that, that were the same. yeah Pinay do yeah. you miss me <laughs> Here's the Pinay Divas get it right here Pinay Divas first then they go to Pinay. Shout out to Dropping Harm. Oh, <laughs> man. See, that was a whole era of music that I really, I don't want to say I overlooked or glossed over. It was just that at that time, um, for me personally, I was more into, like, let's say the Living Legends. The, I, yeah, I don't want to see yeah, you yeah, cry yeah. now. <laughs> you know, yeah. He's a simple man. He yeah. has beans and rice. Yeah. I've been to Buck at Summer Jam. Yeah, you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Bill so, Graham? Yeah. 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 So, so I think at that time, um, you know, like I feel like that underground hip hop um, mentality was we're anti mainstream. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're our own thing. You know what I mean? And now you're jiggy all over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ben man. Is hey, man. Oh, I'm those, those, those years, those, those living legends. Silly putty years. Oh, if you were if you were in those years, the twat, the the uh, the quality, 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 of music, quality, yeah. quality. If you were in those years, you were in. You were yeah. deep in it. You were I, brown. I, felt, I felt like you were like in like this club, and, and it was open to everybody. But you were, it was kind of exclusive. Like I feel like the first thing it was the the what you were wearing, you can kind of spot them. North right Face. You have to wear Tim's. <laughs> you have to wear a koofy. <laughs> Yes, and you have to wear a hoodie. Yeah, I, I got a peace book in my backpack. Yeah. <laughs> and then everyone had a pea coat, yeah. or they had the, the yeah. beanie with the string that went all the way oh, down. Man, my cousin yeah. used to roll. Dr- I, my cousin, like he, they got me into Living Legends. Oh, Grouchy and Eli was mm-hmm. like my real first in- intro, and then, um, and then it was. Or Mar- Mars was he? he, he Mars was part of yeah, Living Legends, yeah. and he branched off and did his own thing. My boy got a got a an L phone, like a Living Legends hand phone. What? Oh yeah. man! What Christian phone? See, he, it's a foam hand. You oh, know, like, foam hand. Yeah, like the said foam. Hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> phone. It's for oh. a boost mode. When did they give that out? They, they, you buy them at the shows. He, oh, he, no like, shit. Like, like what's up, but those those, <laughs> those like going to that introduced me to a whole different genre of yeah. music because I was yeah. yeah. What what was the 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 pop shit at that time? What was the? Um, I think it was kind of a, an answer to like you know Bad Boy was big, just yeah. that whole Jiggy area. Early two thousand. It wasn't Jaw Rule yet. It was. was uh, it Jaw? I, I want to say it's the same time uh, G Unit and Thing were maybe. It, it, but it, yeah. but it, it even started like even even like prior to that a little bit. I, yeah. It was because 
I don't want to say it was because I'm mm -hmm. sure there's multiple reasons, but I think uh, they were trying to get back. Hip hop was being way too flashy. Yeah, yeah. and they were bling. Really, it was a bling bling era. Yeah, it was it was yeah. like that. And, and they were boys bling bling era. Exactly. Right. Yeah, and I, I, I think they were just trying to go back to you know go, we're going to go back to skills and. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think now that. I, I think people don't really realize now that a lot of these different subgenres were really fragmented that, and they didn't really mix all the time. Mm. Even stuff like, um, I remember early on on Hate Street, there was a, a store called Red Five mm. and they sold um, clothing, they sold uh, art pieces, art books. Uh, some toys and music, and there wasn't. And Where was that? What was this Red was Fire? the this Damn. was the old first true lo location, and it winded up being Yak Pack. Ah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So, ben and Jerry side. Yeah, Ben yeah, and yeah. Jerry side. So um, the Ryan Ryan was at Yak Pack. <laughs> <laughs> I bought, oh, I bought my yak pack. I yeah. still got my shit. Man, he 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 told me stories like just uh, him working there. I was like, yo, <laughs> but I, I don't want to put him on yeah. blast or whatnot. But um, they, they were kind of ahead of the curve because they really married those um, different scenes into one store. Um, and it wasn't always like that. You know what I mean? And, and same with like like uh, below the surface was like that. Oh yeah 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 Shout yeah. To Shane. Exactly exactly. Um, I actually saw this movie recently called The Streets Are Silent. And it talks about the early years of when hip hop, skate culture, mm. uh, punk, and just those different scenes started mm. to interact um, mm. and mix together. It sounds like one of my burnt CDs. <laughs> 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 and, 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 but but it, it's it, it's 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 easy to relate to. Like if you grew up during that time and you realize, like, yeah, you know, all these scenes were very yeah. like yeah. separate. But now these days, like. It's all very, very interconnected. Supreme, yeah. mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it talks about the early starrings of Supreme, mm -hmm. um, but even Supreme as a brand now, you know, it's synonymous with skate culture. It's synonymous with like, well, I don't want to call it hypebeast culture, but but you know. Um, now hypebeast. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Then, not then, not then. Right. Not then, people were chasing, not then. Not then. They're, they're, people were chasing Triple Five Soul back then. Oh, talk. Come <laughs> on, come on, Triple Five Soul, or we'll wear if you can yeah, afford yeah. it. Oh, man. <laughs> Shout out to True, though, because they, they were really like Mike. the first like store to really um, make those different brands available to everybody mm -hmm. in this city. You know what I mean? Because back then, I mean, there was no internet and you really yeah. had to search for that. And it, it was either that or it was very re regional. You and know you're what I mean? going to Mr. Rags. <laughs> oh, <God. Yeah. laughs> Mr. Rags. Man, hell which is yeah. not like no, a hot topic. Like back in that day, the way you learn about something is you would see it in a music video. Yes, or you or see someone where magazines, magazines, you exactly. have to buy magazines. Yeah, yeah. that was a yeah. like, oh, what's he rocking in that video? Like, yeah, oh, go look for that. Cyber exactly. tech. I'm getting yeah. all my shit. Oh. <laughs> a whole cyber tech outfit. Yeah, it's like a sweatsuit. Yeah, like you're yeah. sweating in this sauna, sauna suit. <laughs> no, but that era though of like, like having to be outside. That, mm -hmm. You that, definitely had to be that outside. That really forced you to be outside, <laughs> like being at Q's on top of the hill. Oh, man. That yeah. was that was having to be outside. Ultrasounds. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like just yeah, the for sure. Top for Secrets sure. and the, what was it, the, the Mega Mix? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's it called? Yeah, Q's, um, that's where I, I would run into or first meet like a lot of the DJs I looked up to. Um, Apollo was running the record pool at Q's at the time and... Paul was like, you know, a fucking legend. Yeah. Um, for real, for real. Uh, Vin Rock was um, uh, working at the store, and at that time, he had just won like a uh, world championship. Uh, ITF. DJ, oh, ITF, yeah. Yeah. Um, and just all the other people who used to run, you know, through that store. Q's had a short run, but it was a, it was a strong oh, run. Yeah. yeah. That that yeah. is. Hey, bring back Hughes, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they, well, he, I think he did briefly. He did briefly. I don't know how long uh, it lasted, but um, and this was kind of recent, maybe in the last five years too, that they brought uh, back Hughes, uh, and it was it was in um, San Mateo Avenue, uh, kind of where, where the, the that, yeah. old ultrasounds is. It might have been like around that same area where the old ultrasounds is. Damn, really? it didn't last that long, huh? I don't think it lasted that long. I, I went there maybe twice, and then. 
I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I I don't even really buy records anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no so, need. Do you still do you still own a lot of your records? I, I still do, and I'm if anybody if anybody who owns a record store and wants to buy this collection, please please. <laughs> it's, it's a fat collection. Yeah yeah. Oh man, it's in my mom's house, and my mom's been asking for like a, a, over a decade. What are you gonna do with all these records? It's a wall. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's just too much to go through. Like you can actually make some money, but it's the <sighs> time fishing and. Hell yeah! Like if I had to put each one up on eBay and like you know grade it or whatever. Ever and ship Just each do one. bundles. Yeah, man. I bet you got the you got the forty federation high fee. Oh, <laughs> dude. Yeah, 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 me, yeah. I, I have a, I have a nice. When you find that, let me know. I, I have a very nice um, Bay Area um, collection um, because they used to have a an all vinyl night. Uh, out here a few years ago and I would sh I would show up and just you know practice because I, I never play vinyl so I would just kind of do it just to not really practice but see if I you know put myself to the test or whatnot is there anything on vinyl that you have that's not out mm. that you cannot find on Spotify you can't find on Apple is there any record that Damn. you have I, I rush the, hour two soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> How deep is your love for me? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't think there's anything necessarily um, in terms of music, but I would say maybe in terms of if you want instrumentals or acapellas. Uh, a lot of B-sides. Yeah. A lot of good uh, That too. Yeah. A lot of good okay. B-sides. That too. Oh, mm. actually, shout out to Creative Music. Mm, hey, man. Yeah. Shout out, yeah, yeah, shout out yeah, to Creative yeah. Music. That was like uh, one of the stores I used to buy, like uh, all the uh, local um, artists, like uh, like a, a Forte or an RBL or, or just anybody local at all. We would uh, go to Creative to to cop the and 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 the dope thing is they would leave out. Uh, they had the table with like uh, the different stickers and posters. Yeah, and, just know, take what you want. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I I I I go there with a girl because she would buy her nag champa, <laughs> <laughs> and and that's how I discovered Egyptian musk. I was like, oh, can I smell that? I was like, that smells like that girl. Damn. I want to smell like that girl. <laughs> and they go to the bank and be like, I need to take out twenty dollars because I need to buy some oils. <laughs> Dude, Creative music was a vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loved it. R.I.P. Joe. Yeah. I feel like Nog Champa. Nog Champa was our. Uh, what were those girls burn today? Sage. Oh sage. yeah, yeah. Nog Champa was our sage. Bro. What What was the name of that hip hop slash uh, slash clothing store? It was like almost true, but it wasn't exactly true. It was on Ocean. It was a. Uh, you remember what I'm talking about? Wait, wait, wait. I, oh, I, I, shit. Used, to, I used to buy. Um, I used to buy. Uh, what are the clothes, cigarettes? Not, what, what are those little cigarettes that are wrapped up in leaves? Beanies. Oh, beanies. I to, oh damn. I used to buy beanies over there. Wow. Man, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> it was like a purple spot. It was right there. It was right there. <sighs> right next to McDonald's, right? Oh, <laughs> shit. You're going to be wrecking your brain Fuck. thinking about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to text you at like yeah. 4 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> like right when I'm about to go yeah. to sleep. I got my yeah. first fun dubious sticker there. <laughs> I want that sticker. Two bucks. Oh, that's all I got. Oh, man. I'm walking home because I got no bus money. <laughs> <laughs> What was that store called? It was like Rags or it was like Mr. Mr. Funk or because that was like our high school days. That was like yeah, we walked out shit. the ocean Ooh. and it was right there. Like yeah. either beeps or I'm gonna go buy me a mixtape. <laughs> West Coast Bad Boys too again because I love. Oh man, yo, those West Coast Bad Boys uh, mixtapes were. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that was the curve. Yeah, it really was. It really was. That, that was yeah. like we're all in the same gang. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh hell yeah, I still have that record, man. Oh, I still the wax I, on it. Yeah, I still vaguely remember the um, performance they did on Arsenio Hall. I was just wow. thinking about yeah, that. Yeah. I didn't know they did this. Really yeah, cool. oh, on man. Arsenio Hall was I, like I was the bar. For that. Holy shit! I would do this all the time. <laughs> the, the dog all the time <laughs> when I graduated eighth grade. I was doing this. Damn. Oh man! I go to my friend and we'll touch fingers and we'll do this. <laughs> he would do that with the piano guy, like it was like the ET touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh man! Uh, I forgot about all that. Our city homes. I ha I have. Okay, this is a nerd fact. My mom got me because she knew I was a big fan. She knew someone because my mom worked in hotels. She knew someone that knew him, and I got an autograph. It says, Gus, think like a winner. And it, it was the A <laughs> with the line and the dot. Uh, in gold. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in a real, like, you know, when you get, like, the real photos, yeah. She oh, got me got that, it? and she got me she Magic got Johnson. Yeah, I got it somewhere. Ooh. You got a Magic Johnson with I got you? a Magic. Wow. Personalized to Gus. Damn. Wow. And I got a Jasmine guy. 
person. Wow, alive. Jasmine Guy. Jasmine too? Guy, yeah, and Kadeen Hartleson. Damn. I don't know those last three. You don't. You don't know those last three. They're different from world? a different world. I'm sorry. Dwayne Wayne had he had the glasses that flipped up, and Jasmine uh, Guy was like the, the hot girl after after um, <laughs> Denise Denise left. Um, she was also in a movie. Um, Hillary. Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> Southern Belle. Hillary. Man. Wow, yeah, you're you're really uh, jogging my memory now, dude. What was the name of that store? The I, shit, I know exactly what you're talking about. I gotta ask. Uh, Roller would know. Yeah, he would know. He has a, he has a really good memory for some reason. For, for a pothead, <laughs> bro. <laughs> for a pothead, <laughs> we were like, I I remember stuff that doesn't matter. Like I remember that fillet of fish only puts a half a slice of cheese on each sandwich. <laughs> I remember that. I will not remember that my son has a half day tomorrow <laughs> or or. or I'm off of work. You know what I mean. I remember. I remember the, like the most random shit. Like, like what Balky's from uh, Meatballs. Meatballs. <laughs> see, 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 we were all at TGI, TGIF in it. Uh, we were all TGIF in it. Who's the hottest girl on? Uh, who's the hottest girl on uh, Step by Step? Oh shit! I forgot about that with Coach. Um... It was Cody. No, just the ten of us was all the daughters, but step oh, by wait, step. Wait, wait, wait. Which one step by step? It was with uh, Suzanne Summers and then Oh the modern age Brady Bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh fuck, I and can't Co- remember. Cody was a kickboxer. I was, uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Really Cody was a kid, but he loves to cow. <laughs> he lived in he a van. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Cody was. He a was. Kid dude, dude, dude. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana. Dana. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> oh what show am I thinking of with Coach? Just the ten of us. Just the ten of us. Listen, he had, he had, uh, he had like. Uh, oh wait, that was a spinoff from Family Matters, was it or no? Just the ten of us was a spinoff Ooh. of Growing Pains. Oh. He was the he was the the coach. Okay, now we're digging into what, yeah, yeah. Friday oh, night. Shit, okay, this is yeah, yeah, Friday yeah, yeah, night. yeah. I'm saying, man, I'm, you're, you're in my lane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're in my lane. Who's the, who's the most popular person from Growing Pains? From Growing Dad. Pains, um, because it's fucking. The singer's Robin Thicke. Uh, Alan Thicke. The you say Alan Thicke? Yeah. Who, who do you think is the most famous person from Growing Pains? Damn, most famous? Either uh, Mikey or Boner. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're right. He, he was, was, was he a runaway or something like he that? Was Mike Seaver's like student. Stu- yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't even remember that. Yeah, yeah he had like the, the long hair, like, yes. oh. The fuck. Edward Furlong. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone had that hair. <laughs> Foot nerd fact the daughter, Chrissy, that was on uh, Growing Pains, she is the last random person talking on Avengers. Oh wow! Uh, there was a Wait, girl. What? There was a girl that's talking at the end of Avengers uh, to a news reporter about how if she's mad at the Avengers for what they did to New York, and she was like, "Captain America saved my life." That is Chrissy from Growing Pains. Really? Show me that smile again. <laughs> Out here. Man, out here, Gus got no- all the facts. Jeez, Nerd knowledge, <laughs> useless knowledge. Hey, I'm saying, man, <laughs> it's stored somewhere. Useless knowledge came oh, stored man. somewhere. <laughs> What's your go-to meal at uh, Joseph Westlake? Joseph Westlake. Oh, the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> we all knew who it was. Just- <laughs> man, I'm trying to think now. I have I honestly haven't been there in a minute, and I do remember going there and liking. Um, prime rib wasn't bad. They had, mm. what was the um, steak a la Bruno? Oh wait 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 no I'm I'm thinking of, did they have like a calamari that was um, yeah. calamari calamari a la Joe's <laughs> something like that where it's fried a la calamari with like red sauce I believe so or the calamari steak <laughs> no 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 it wasn't calamari I think a calamari uh just with the red sauce Ooh. um I honestly haven't I haven't even been there since they reopened to be honest with you Ooh. I was just there tonight damn yeah. after I celebrating like, guys. this guy is celebrating yeah, well, I, me me me, me so the Burger King line was kind of long we waited oh, we waited a long uh, and darn. I was like you know what Joe's uh, is right there yeah and no one wants anything at the house 
house. <laughs> Instead of spending 13 bucks on like six burgers, let's spend 140 on two meals. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a gotta get the ravioli. it's a celebration. Yeah, this guy's gotta celebrate, get celebrate. The, gotta get Before we end, I have to I have to congratulate my brother Gus. He just copped the house. Yeah, yeah. Man. 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 Big thing. Yeah. Come on, man. I, need, I need that sponsorship now, y'all. Yeah. 399 yeah. needs some sponsorship money because I got I got this mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's big. Where could they reach you, Ben, if they want to get you for DJ services? For you do weddings, you do cotillions, you uh, quinces. Man, mostly weddings. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to mess wedding with wedding season. Kids. Has been nice to you lately. It has actually. We've been uh, super busy um, since we things kind of started opening up. Like since. I would say uh, more place, more venues have been doing weddings since uh, April or May. Nice. And um, we, at least one a month, I think. You're... I I, I want to say even like two or three, two, Jeez. maybe at least two a month, at least. Um, and Damn, that's a nice busy. coin. Yeah, you know what? Can't complain. I I've been trying to. I think for 2022, the approach that I'm trying to and the image I'm trying to give off is the more the turn up DJ versus like your normal wedding DJ. Ooh. So if you want if you want a party to look like, you know, how it is in the club or yeah. whatnot. Don't believe me, just watch. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right. All the brutal but, Mars. Yeah. But, but but at the end of the night we really like get into okay. it. Get into it. Yeah. You know? But um that's the image I want to give off. Where they reach you? Um Instagram is at DJ Boogie Brown. Sorry, I've been calling you Ben this whole time. No, 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 no. I'm old. We we old. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I feel uh, uh um uh Instagram is at DJ Boogie Brown and email is DJ, DJ Boogie Brown at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. yeah. RP Hug Mansion. Yo, that was a that was a joke that just went too far. <laughs> <laughs> That's all uh, merch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I what, so what it was is um what, what Gus is referring to is uh early pandemic when DJ started DJing online and everybody jumped on Twitch. Um I think the origins of that really was during my show we had a a shot clock yes and then one night I, I think the first night we had uh it was set at every 15 minutes everybody take a shot i didn't realize like 15 <laughs> minutes like in an hour it's already like four shots <laughs> and then like in a two hour show that's eight shots Damn. and i was like yo we can't do this anymore <laughs> and then so i was like I, the joke i i think I, I i don't know where it came from i was like yo instead of doing shots we're gonna give out hugs <laughs> and then somebody ritual hug yeah yeah and then uh shout out to homie jordan he was in the chat and we were trying to come up with names for it so we called it the hug clock but uh, I, instead of a shot clock, uh, we, we, re we, we renamed it the Hug Clock, and then uh, he came up with uh, Hugs Mansion, a and that's from Tupac's Thugs Mansion. Yeah. There you go. DJ Boogie Brown, this is episode 125 for the Nine Podcast. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. <laughs>